few immediate faults. Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm deaf as all balls now. Um, the hopper has a lot of wiggle room on here. It slides around a bit as you saw. Does not self feed very well. I'm really having to push into that and that shit's cold. So my fingers are a tad nippy now. Uh, but then the other thing is it's so noisy. Um, this could probably maybe stick out a little bit further. I feel like, you know, I'll maybe like that. This needs another inch or two. She keeps telling me that, but this one does. And then it would be a lot easier to use. I'm gonna wear headphones if I keep, or earmuffs if I keep using this though, because that is some noise she's got. So now we're getting onto the hog skin casing. And this is where I don't know what I'm doing really. So I'm gonna glove up again, just in case. Well, I don't know why just in case. I've got meat all over my hands, but if I need to quickly have a dry hand, clean hand, this will do it. This is going for longer than I expected too. This is gonna to suck to edit. But put our meat, I'll chuck. A little bit of side, I'm just gonna fry that up afterwards to, to taste out as a tiny patty nugget. And on here, let's see what the happy hat is. Okay, fairly clean. My fat and a bit of fat in there, that's fine. Washed out. So, yeah, it's just that last bit where it's really not self-feeding too well. There's some big strings of fat in there, so I might actually chuck that in the fry-up pile. Yeah, that can go in the fry-up pile too. Not, not bad though, that's better than I expected. I'm gonna give them credit. Now, I'm putting the pusher on. Don't actually, go over there. I actually know how this, this boy works, so it looks like all right, looks like we don't need the blade attachment. Take that off. So this goes in. From the best I can tell, that sits on there. And then gets fed like that. Oh, man, this is, no, that's, that's, that's for something else. We've got to be, yeah, this, this has got to go. Doesn't know. Oh, it doesn't well. All right, so that's got to go on there. That's for bloody sure. Not what we're just going to use, but put a wiggle. Should be right. Then this has got to be extra meat in there. Oh, that nearly went in the vodka. This has got to be just this sort of arrangement. All right, it it's how it has to go because it doesn't make sense any other way. I don't have a huge amount of confidence in that, but what can you do? So we'll be feeding this meat in. I'll move that over here. Get the hop back on there. Here's our hook skins. So I have no experience with this. Uh, that's already had a pile of meat on it. Noise. Nice. Close enough. See what this is like. Apparently hog skins can get a bit of a smell about them, but there's nothing much to worry about. This is, where's that? Oh, can get a bit of a smell. Wow, that's a real scent. But they said not to worry about it very much. I'll give it a quick rinse. They said you can rinse it, of course. Uh, you can also brine it again. That'll take some of the smell off. That's a lot of casings here. I don't know how much you can see there. So I'll just give this a quick rinse in the sink. It's already been uh, brined and soaked and whatnot. And it lasts months apparently in the fridge. All right, I'm bored of this process because this is stringy and long and disgusting. I don't know how many people would actually enjoy this, but I'm sure there's some out there that would. And it knots up, Jesus. So this is for all of you that 
And for example, you hate me now. This is the insides of an animal to a degree. How did I knot it that badly? Fuck's sake. And that is what you use to make sausages. I have zero vegan subscribers. I might have some haters. I'm all right with that. I was a vegetarian for a while. Not now. Now, uh, you know, let's just, let's just sausage onto the counter. But I'm not sure of how I'm supposed to open this up to start getting stuff into it. Is there a trick to it? Is there? Alright, that's it there, sorry, alright. Alright, so let's start feeding this on and see how much we can get on and how many sausages it starts making. I'm going to have to get my glove off of this, I'm going to have to be intimate with it. It's amazing how strong this stuff is, like, this is... This is really strong, like you could use this as a good rope and the fact that the plastic doesn't pierce it, that you make snags out of it, that, oh that smell, that it stretches so much, you know, it, this could this could have turned, it's only, only two weeks old, but if it has turned, then it's still going to fry it up anyway, so, sure it's fine. Alright, I'm going to cut it there. Because I honestly don't know how much hog skin I've got or what that'll make. Put a little tie in the end. And I'll we'll turn it on, start feeding it in. First things first though. That's the good stuff. Goddamn. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, I was mildly worried it would start blowing air into it then and just that's not how it works though. It does drop a lot of juice apparently. I should have got those hearing muffs, ear muffs. I have the most ringing in my ears I've ever had. Jesus Christ. It was probably raw meat in that. A little, just gonna have to put our hands into it at this point, I think. That was uh, definitely too much hog skin. There's probably gonna be some wasted meat in here. I'll, oh, yeah. I want every little last drop because that's just how I do. Oh, it is, it really is nasty, but you know what? I love meat and sausages so much, I just, I just don't care. So get that in there, that last bit, and then I'm gonna cut it and tie it off. Hopefully I'm leaving some slack. Live and you learn, I guess. Ew. There we go, get back in there. I should have cut off, cut off way more slack. It's not like I'm running out of this stuff, eh? Oh man, it's harder to tie than I thought. The first one was way easier. There we go. All right, so oh, there's a bit of air in there. That's all right, let's get this on here. It nearly looks like Borovos, doesn't it? I'll send this to my mate, he'll be very happy with that. Uh, yeah, no, I'll probably make some little snags out of this. So I don't, I guess, 
you just pinch and twist them every maybe half foot or there's got to be a better technique to this I don't know right but this will this will do it so a bit thinner at this end we'll just pinch and twist them up and we'll get some odd shapes out of them and we'll call that snags I'm pretty happy with that so this thing's definitely got its flaws it's gonna suck to clean I don't know that much I'm just Tempted to throw it in the bin. It's only a, oh, it's only a hundred bucks. That can go in there. I'll cook that in a minute. But we made snags, and I've got a. Uh, oops. We can get a bit of a twist back in that middle section. Come on, turn back into a snag. Cops getting someone outside. Get him. Alright, close enough. Got one, two, ooh, you burst out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snags. That's a good number. I'm over that. <coughs> I'm done. This thing's loud, it doesn't sell feed enough, the hopper doesn't stay on, it's not stainless steel, like it says, and it doesn't draw 800 watts. But for 100 bucks, it made me snags, and that was entertaining. So, fair play to you. Healthy choice. For you guys watching at home, Comment everything I did wrong. I want to do better. Probably won't, but I want to. And whilst you're there, hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video if you actually liked it. Of course, if you didn't like it, I don't really care. Don't hit the don't hit the dislike button. That's actually a really terrible idea because it doesn't help anyone make money. Like I can get money from stupid advertisers, but not if you dislike it so much. I mean, I probably won't get money from stupid advertisers anyway. But the dislike button helps no one unless it's someone really bad. Like if you got one of those really extremist far, you know, far off the Richter scale sort of person. Just like that, they don't need money, they need help. I mean, maybe money, but mostly help. Till next time guys, thanks Emil, take it easy. I'll try these snags out, I'm gonna put some, maybe cut music, some Kevin McLeod, and some pictures of the snags. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>